Darkness alone is fundamental, but light has brought diversity to this world. It is never possible for living beings to imagine anything except light. That is why the primitive people worshipped the sun as their greatest deity. When the gods lived i.e. during the day they did not care about anything, and at night they took shelter in the cave. After that slowly people improved, learned a lot about the universe. It took a long time for humans to realize that the sun is a medium-sized star and that its light is our main source of energy. However, after knowing these events, people were most curious about what the sun is actually made of and how the sunlight is actually made. Sun is the center of our solar system. All of the light that reaches Earth from the sun comes from gas hundreds of kilometers outside the sun's core. This layer is called the photosphere. The surface temperature of the sun's halo is about 6,000 degrees Celsius. But the temperature in the core central region inside the sun is about 150 million to 200 million degrees Celsius. The main component of the sun is hydrogen gas. About 73% of the sun is filled with hydrogen gas and 25% is filled with helium. And the remaining two parts contain oxygen, neon, carbon, and iron. The burning process of the sun is done by creating helium from this huge amount of hydrogen from the sun. Scientists say it may take more than a few billion years for the sun to burn all the hydrogen and reach its peak. We know that the sun, along with the entire solar system, moves through space at a speed of 19.2 kilometers per second, in addition to its rotation. At this time, as a result of the gravitational pull, the sun's gas particles run at a high speed, and due to the friction between the cones, great heat is generated. As a result of this heat, the hydrogen nuclei merge into helium nuclei in the process of fusion. This energy is light. Many things exist in this light, starting with heat. The natural environment of our Earth and the fauna and flora are closely related to the sun's radiation. This sunlight and the Earth's atmosphere are most important for the creation of life. That is why we are eternally indebted to the light of the sun. Hello viewers subscribe our channel to watch next videos thank you.